Ever play a Bioware game like Mass Effect or something and then you run into the scenario where you can gain Paragon or Renegade points depending on your choice? You pick Paragon because you want to be good and then you realize the Paragon choice just gave you a headache? That's what happened to these guys. That's pretty much it. Lone Survivor. So Lone Survivor is the true story of these four Navy SEALs who go over to Afghanistan to get this Taliban commander. And then they're there and then they run across a couple of civilians who might be working with Taliban and they're like, what to do? Really? So what? do we do? We can let them go and have a bunch of Taliban on our ass in the middle of nowhere, or we can waste them and be dicks. Ultimately, they're like, no, Paragon points. Let's let them go and get the hell out of here and go home because they're going to be coming around the mountain when they come with hell. The hell is coming with them. And that's exactly what happens. Now these four Navy SEALs are in the fight for their lives to survive. Gotta say, it's some intense shit. Seriously, the best I can describe this movie is that it's really real. They start getting into firefights and it's not all Michael Bayed out. You don't have a hundred explosions with those fireworks that come off the sides. You're like, the hell is that shit? No, this is real stuff. Bullets and they're closed in, they're getting surrounded. It's really claustrophobic. You can feel these Taliban coming through the trees and they're just being herded in directions. It felt like a nightmare or at least it felt like Left for Dead. Waves of dudes coming and you're trying to hold them off. You're shooting, got your buddies with you and you're like, we're not gonna live, dude. We are not going to live. It's unsettling. It's a really uncomfortable feeling and you get to feel it and that's really good. When a movie can make you feel the intensity, like feel it to your core, not bad. I was really surprised Peter Berg directed this movie. Peter Berg directed Battleship Hancock. Wouldn't have pegged this as a Peter Berg movie. However, he also did movies like Collateral. So you're like, I think Peter Berg is two different human beings. Sometimes he does sloppy, shitty messes. Other times he does really good movies. This is one of the good movies. And I really like the fact that this movie illustrated that Afghanistan isn't all bad. Yeah, there are a lot of Taliban assholes who hang out down there and they're like death to a lot of shit. But there are also really good people down there. They're like, we're civilians, we're town folk. We don't want to kill people. Yeah, those Taliban are dicks. We're not them. With all you see in the news, it's really easy to get tunnel vision on that stuff. They're like, oh, Afghanistan is all bad. They're shitheads. This movie did a good job at illustrating no, it's not like that. The world is not so simple. I will say the movie lacked on setup. I mean, it has setup. The best part of the setup was the very beginning. It shows real Navy SEAL footage and training. You're like, oh shit, those guys got to go through that. They're way tougher than me. Not hard to do. I'm just saying they're, they're tougher than me. That was a lot more interesting than the character setup where you're supposed to be like, oh, these are the established characters. This is why we care. I never really felt that. They got a couple of briefings, a couple of hangout moments, and now they're off to war. And I'm like, what are their names again? And I don't know. Lone Survivor is not this deep character study movie or anything like that, but it is a really good and solid and respectful representation as to what these guys went through in that situation. One of the bummers is that I've already heard people being like, that's just bullshit American propaganda. Which makes me think back to a simpler time that I personally enjoyed. Remember a time where you could make a war movie and it wasn't seen as bullshit propaganda? It was just, it was a movie. I miss those times, it was a good time. It's unfair to trivialize the movie as a whole by calling it propaganda, that's all I'm saying. But in the end, I enjoyed Lone Survivor. It was a really realistic take on this war situation that just went to shit really fast. Everyone in the movie did a good job. It had a small cast, but they all did a good job. The setup was a bit lacking and there's a couple of scenes where you're like, oh, I was supposed to care about that. I didn't though. Although there are definitely a couple moments where you're like, all right, that more than makes up for it because I really care about this. In the end, Lone Survivor is a very strong, I would buy it on Blu-ray. I would say Lone Survivor is not like Saving Private Ryan. It's more like this decade's Black Hawk Down. There you go. That's a good way to say it. All right, so your favorite war movie based on a real situation. They're out there in plenty, but what's your favorite? Whatever it is, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.